previously on Backlog Challenger. Article about Yang and the Sanctuary. Today marks the 8th anniversary of the sanctuary that sits high above the city. Founded by a former martial artist, it has welcomed many patients over the years, providing a full range of traditional healing techniques. We welcome the lost, the despairing, and the broken spirit, says the founder of the sanctuary. Such a place should have existed long before I founded it. To reveal the path you must truly let go. Only then will the clouds begin to lift. Alright. An ancient scroll signed by the alchemists. A new symbol has recently been added. The dawn. Talismans are gifts created to serve the greatness of their powers too strong to be left unused. The group must never become extinct. It will strike again and receive the gifts. Studying and using the talismans will benefit all people. Time has passed since the days I told you. We were family. At least, that's what I believed. But then, during my darkest days, the father revealed his true self. He never cared about us. He cast me out. He abandoned us. Uh-huh. Tell me. What would you do to save the people you love from you? Wouldn't you cross every line? Break every rule? Wouldn't you challenge death itself? Oh. Sick. Fair enough. Fair enough. So, if you remember in my previous video, I made a remark like this. Okay. Yeah, I'll explain that later. What I meant by that was, in Sifu, there is a way to spare the bosses. And whenever you spare the bosses, you activate these, um, I guess, I don't know how to put it. Um, basically virtues or something as some um, martial arts thing uh, philosophy called Wuda or something like that so every time you spare a boss you get a piece of the Wuda and um, the this is the footage of me sparing each of the bosses
that's all for now, and back to our regularly scheduled programming. Alright, so did some stuff as you can see, and now I'm going to go and take on Yang again, and this time I'm not quite as old, so I have a couple room to have a couple room. I have some room to make a couple of mistakes, so here it goes guys. Second shot. officially did my sparing, so I'm going to hit this statue right over here. Uh, yes, I get more reserve or resolve. Alright. Can't see. Getting older, getting older. What? 
in the end, you're still that same child I knew. Helpless. Like the night I killed your father. You're here, in front of me, only because of this moment. But what if I take it from you? Will you fear death once again? You sound like a frog. Alright. Waste of your time. Alright, let's see who didn't teach you this one. Mm. Okay, okay. Your reliance on your kid will be your downfall. the other one, he can break it. His hands go out like the lightning, and the other doesn't want to fight anymore.
Okay, so does that mean my run starts all the way over from the beginning? Okay. Alright, no, it doesn't. It doesn't. Cool. Alright. So let's see what happens if I spare him. done that for you. Damn, I'm old. Stay with me.
hands. Let's get my old ass out of here and see what's what. dragon. Oh, clap, slow clap. That was, that was pretty, no, no, that was really good. That was really good. Not even gonna lie. Like easily, easily one of my top ten for this year for sure. Which is kind of biased since I'm I love martial arts films and martial arts in general is freaking cool. So you know, <laughs> easy sell for me there. This fume, fume. <laughs> uh, this theme also slaps too. Uh, hmm. Closing thoughts, closing thoughts. Yeah, so, um, the fact that you, um, have a, uh, pacifist option in a revenge story is pretty interesting. You don't see that too often. Um, though I wish it was a little more, like, a little more obvious. Because I actually, on, I can't remember which reset I was doing, I ran, I, English, I fought Fajar and I spared him by accident on one run, so whenever you saw me going through um, the sanctuary that time, I already had spared Fajar, so, you know, it was, it was weird, but yeah, um, definitely had to do a, a lot of, um, a lot of wiki diving, well not wiki diving, but googling and stuff to uh, figure out some stuff around here. Um, as far as the bosses, in terms of difficulty, um, honestly, I would say Kuroki is number one, 
just because of that first phase. Like, there's no, like, I'm gonna take at least two or three L's off of that one. Um. Second hardest. Mmm. Maybe Jin Feng. Just because that. I guess anybody with, with a weapon with, like, weird rope range, like whips and shit. It's always gonna be hard if you're coming in with a fist. And nine times out of ten, you're not gonna have a weapon when you come to those guys anyway, so. Um. I'd say Yang is kinda in the middle because, like, if you. You basically. You don't even have to damage, damage him. You just have to parry him down, so that makes a lot of his stuff easy. And if you're a better player than I am and you manage to manage to get that um try bonus for the parry structure damage then he's probably he's probably fucking cake. Um I would say as far as like the fourth and the fifth, um I would say well I before I I labbed him I would say Sean would probably be the the fourth hardest, but like I, he was literally a wall, and once I beat him, I learned so much about the battle system in this thing that uh, I think the other challenges after him were made a little bit easier because of it. And Fajar, Fajar is the easiest. Got a stinger? Yeah, so that was Sifu. Um, 10 on 10. Love the hell out of it. Uh, and once you really figure out what you're doing and you get good at it, it's a relatively short game. But yeah, I'm, don't don't be sleeping on Sifu. Like, if you haven't played Sifu yet, if you like action games, if you play Devil May Cry, it's stuff like that, Bayonetta. This is a natural get, so do yourself a favor. Yeah, favor. Do yourself a favor and get this damn game.